Hello, my name is Davide. I'm an engineer and I work in a Starsky Bucks factory as product manager. I would like to make this video to uh, show you our floor-free racing program and to give you some information on how to prepare skis for floor-free racing. We started to develop floor-free products for racing three years ago when the first floor ban was announced by FIS. At the same time, there were already a lot of requests for floor-free products for racing coming from the US market, where fluoro was banned some years ago. In the beginning, we start to collect a lot of new material, new ingredients, new additives, and uh, what we discover almost immediately was that the same product, applying a different way on ski base, was performing uh, different, meaning that application method was really important on this floor-free product. So we decided not to focus only on product, but to find the best way to apply each product on skis to guarantee the best performance of your vaccine process. We ended up <coughs> with a complete line of floor-free product two years ago. We called it Next. And basically, it's divided in two big categories. Base wax that need the use of iron to be applied, and top layer product which does not need the iron to be applied. Is it really important to use the iron to apply base wax? Yes, we believe it's very important. With the heating of the iron, we are promoting the movement of the uh, polyethylene, which is in the base made and this movement allows uh, easier and better penetration wax inside the ski base. As ski wax is more idophobic than polyethylene, it's clear that more wax we can have on the ski base, the better they will perform on snow. So uh, really uh, ironing ski base is important to uh, have a good result. So uh, for base wax, we have uh, two categories of product. One is called glide wax and the other one is called race wax. Let's start with glide wax. This is a very traditional way of applying product. It's in a solid form, so uh, it's like what we have used to see for many years. Basically, we go with the iron to melt the product and then we spread this iron in uh, the product on the skis. The next step will be uh, like usual, to scrape it and brush it very well. What I want to make clear is that this product is not only a paraffin. This is already a quite sophisticated product with uh, solid lubricants inside. And the hardness of the product is really studied and developed to perform on different hardness of snow, different snow condition and different temperature. I want to spend a bit more time talking about my favorite way to apply base wax on skis, which is powder wax. We are talking about micronized powder, meaning that this product is very, very, very fine. When we apply it on skis, we can see that it's very easy to spread on the ski base. Even if the product by itself is quite hard, going with the iron, we can see that it melts very fast, leaving a very, very fine film of product on skis. With one gram of wax, you can wax on skis, meaning that with this 28 gram container, you can wax almost 15 pairs of skis. It's quite important to respect the temperature, uh, melting temperature indicated on the product because uh, it's important not to overheat ski base. We don't need to overheat ski base because we can ruin it and at the same time also the structure of the skis is suffering for uh, exceed of heating. So please respect the temperature indicated to have the best performance of the product. When we scrape product, we will see that uh, there's not so much product on to be scraped out because we have applied really what was needed, meaning that we, uh, this is good for our pocket 
because we are saving money, not wasting bucks. And at the same time, um, it's good for environment, we have less waste. It's important also to use a good iron to apply this product. On the market, there are very cheap and not performing iron, which can uh, not keep the stable temperature while waxing. We have this vaccine iron produced in our factory. Uh, we can guarantee that temperature is very, very stable. It can move one, two degrees, even in extreme different, uh, dif difficult condition. It's important because uh, if the temperature of the iron is moving a lot, we can have some point where product is not melted enough. And in another point of the skis, uh, the temperature is too high, taking the risk of burning ski base. When the ski base is burned, it means that it's not able anymore to absorb wax. So your skis will be slower. You need to regrind them. There is also some technical reason why we are using the powder version. Inside this product, there's a huge amount of solid lubricants. And trying to produce this on a normal block, by the time the product is cooling, we have a separation of the solid part, meaning that we have a block with a more concentrate uh, quantity of additive and a part of the product with less concentration of additives. Using this micronized powder, we are sure that every single grain of the powder has exactly the same formula. The brushing process is very important. It's really important to clean very well every single uh, micro scratch and every single structure of the ski base to permit then the application of the top layer product. While using brush for removing product, be really careful. It's important not to give too much pressure on, on the brushes, both if they are hand brushes or roto brushes. What is cleaning the skis is the tip of the bristle, while if you are using a lot of pressure, you are using the side of the bristle. This means that you are only producing a lot of friction, which can ruin your job, and you are not cleaning in an uh, efficient way. After we have uh, brushed well the product, we are ready for applying the top layer. Let's start with liquid top coating product. This is in a sponge applicator. We believe this is the best way to apply liquid wax on cross-country skis. With a spray, you will have a lot of errors on your wax cabin, a lot of product will go on your table. Uh, with sponge, you are able to produce a very thin film and have it spread on your ski base in a very simple way. We have a special technology we call dry fast technology, meaning that the product is drying in less than one minute. This is very important because on race day, you don't have so much time to spend and wait 5, 10, 20 minutes that the solvent will evaporate. In this case, the solvent evaporates quickly and will leave a visible film of product. At this point, you have two options. You can use a simple nylon brush and brush it. But if you want to have really the best performance, we have to introduce the use of wool roller. In our catalog, we have two kinds of wool roller. One is with long hair and one is with short hair. Basically, the difference between these two rollers is that the short hair is able to produce more friction and so a bit of heat, while the long hair is not producing basically any friction, almost any friction, and is not producing heat. Uh, with this kind of applicator, you can really spread the, the film of wax and have it going inside every single micro scratch of the ski base. After you have polished the wax with the wool roller, it's recommend the use for finishing, polishing uh, nylon, soft nylon brushes. This is white nylon on our catalog. This is working very well for the purpose. How many layers of liquid can we have on top of the base wax? Normally, two layers is enough to have a very long performing performance on your skis. But uh, there's not a rule. You can really try to have much more than two. Normally, we are suggesting 
not to make too many layers, we can guarantee very long distance uh, durability for this product. We made a lot of tests and we are sure that the product is stable and your skis will be fast for very, very long distance. The second product that we have developed for top layering is called Block. And to apply this product, we need the use of the wool roller with short hair. In this case, by rubbing the product on the wool while it's rotating, uh, we are uh, applying the product on, on, on the brushes. Basically, the wool roller is loading product. The second step is to move the roller and apply what was loaded on the roller on skis. This process is quite easy and fast to reproduce. After you have applied the product with the wool roller, you can shine the ski base using the white nylon brushes. In this way, your skis are ready to uh, race. To apply product with wool roller, it's necessary that the product has been developed for this kind of application. If you try to apply a normal paraffin with wool roller, you will be able to do it, but you will discover that it will not last on skis. So really, uh, the formula of this product we uh, developed on this method of application. For the same reason, if you try to apply this on your skis by rubbing or by ironing on skis, you will not have the same performance. This product has not been developed to be applied with iron or to be rubbed directly on skis. When to use block or when to use liquid? There's not really a rule about it. Uh, we can say that uh, normally blocks work better on old snow while liquid works better on new snow. But really you have to try this on your skis. Of course, you can uh, make also a different layer, applying a layer with block and some layer with liquids. And even this is something that you have to discover by yourself and according to snow condition. We have developed new product together with the right application to have the best performance on skis. We are giving you tools to produce the best application method possible. Now it's up to you to discover your own way to apply VAX. You maybe can find different way to apply this product. You are welcome to share with us any feedback on this. Thank you.